another flight video. This time I'm hopping a ride uh, with, with Maxwell and we're heading down to Brookings, Brookings, South Dakota. Yes, sir. We got Logan and Jimena also on the back here. And Logan, Logan's mic's not working right now. Logan's mic's not working, but uh, we're dropping him off to get a new motor for his F-150. But it's a beautiful day up here on this Sunday morning. I'm surfing above the clouds. Uh, we are cruising out 7,000 feet down to uh, Brookings, South Dakota. And we just passed Fargo. Those of you who don't know Maxwell, uh, I know Maxwell since he was a freshman. And uh, one time I was taking out the Cessna in a, in a flight to Fargo. We called it the Chipotle run, but we don't. We didn't go to Chipotle that, no. that, that time. Uh, and we went out in the 172 with another friend of ours, Harley. And uh, that was the like first time contact Winnipeg you flew outside of UMB. Exactly right. I, even had, I was a student pilot at the time. And I, I think I only flew for like 0.2. Like, you know, yeah. you just flew back out of the current speed. We got the current weather in fun. Alexandria. Well, it's about eye opening experience. Yeah, yeah. Six minutes or sorry, it's not for your And now, I was just when you were a student pilot, now you're about to become a flight instructor. Yep, CFI applicant. Hopefully soon. Sorry, I gotta get one clap in here. Nice. No Lines up the audio on the video. It's, oh, that's a goddamn headache. <laughs> Post edit. I get it. I get it. I did a lot of marketing. Oh, yeah? In uh, high school. Well, hold on. Like so I remember when I was in SAC, I was reading your application. You oh, had, my goodness. I, I, you, I'm sorry. I'm going to put you on the spot here. You had uh, a lawn company, didn't you? Yeah, a landscaping company. You had a landscaping company. That's right. I had three or four employees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how old were you when you had this company? 17. Or still cool. 17. 17 years old, and you had a lawn. It's good. Okay. Well, I worked at a hardware store from the time I was 15. So okay. I spent a lot of time working with uh, people who ran landscaping companies for okay. like, fulfilling their orders. And I also got an employee discount at the landscaping company. So okay. all of my supplies came at a cheaper rate. Oh, okay. All right. And then I could charge customers of those full price. Pay my how busy were you? You were like, cut the grass? We were, or? we were really busy. Those bushes? Really, really busy. Especially because... Well, you have three employees. How much you pay them? How much you pay them an hour? I paid them... Eleven dollars an hour, I think. Okay. And then they get we'd give I give them bonuses if if we you give them a bonus if we did well on a project. Yeah. I was I was yeah, I also like I, they, I knew them. So I, wasn't here, to, well, so I, I wasn't here to. No, I like that. You got that entrepreneurial spirit. At such a young age, landscaper. It's a good, yeah. good time. That's good. You know, it's Minnesota. So were you like all year round? Like you did snow removal as well? And we phased out snow removal because it was just such too a damn hassle. cold. Too too cold. It's too a damn cold. All of it. I just I, I wasn't about it. So what we we usually would finish up in the fall with gutter removal, like gutter cleaning. Get all your oh, leaves so out. You get up on the gutter and we get up on the roof and the leaves out. Get the leaves out and then as soon as it was so cold we couldn't you know dig anymore. We were done. So, guessing the plan is to find truck here at UND too. Yes, sir. Build the hours and move on out. Absolutely. Can't, I mean, you just you can't beat the, the supply of students that we have here. That's very true. And if you go somewhere like ATP, yeah, it's a good option. Good school, school, but 14, I think 14, they 14, have to use phones yeah. for six months before yeah. you can instruct. So, yeah. point three five fourteen Minneapolis Center to send. I don't want to answer phones. I want to fly. That's right. I'll go out to Mr. Center to send about discretion to eight thousand on my thirty five fourteen. And I'm guessing it's the same thing for you. Can instruct here, or you want to go somewhere else? Fly, fly, fly. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. So yeah. So we're both in the public. Um, I also have my job offer of JetBlue. So yeah, we'll see where it goes. What happens? JetBlue's an the exciting one. JetBlue is yeah, a lot of news going on with JetBlue and Spirit. So possible wide bodies for them as well. Well, I don't know about the wide bodies. We don't want to jinx it. We don't I know about it. the wide bodies, but... You don't want to fly wide bodies, do you? Well, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, Max. You know, the wider those wings are and the deeper they are, the farther away you are from home, right? So That's true. I mean, I don't, I mean anything longer than seven hours, I, I don't think it's for me. Okay. I'm fine with just a transcon, you know, LA to New York or... 
you know, somewhere in South America, and now they're doing a cross the pond thing with the New York to London. Yep. And when the so now they're doing that with the Airbus 321 LR. That can go from New York to London. Really. Yeah, and that's what they're doing right now. And that's okay. a new route for them. But soon Airbus is going to be launching the Airbus A321 XLR. So that's the extra long range, and that's going to be able to take, um, you know, uh, routes from New York to Paris and uh, the Netherlands, not the Netherlands, what's this, what's it, Amsterdam or something. Yep. So, uh, the same thing. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's an even longer range. That's incredible. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting, and I think that's, I, I generally think that's where the aviation industry is going to be headed towards. Long range and aero bodies. That's it's true. That's what I think. I th I think that you're right about that. A380s being, uh, you know, we see them tossed out. Guys. Yep. Two nine contact Minneapolis nine one three four point seven. They just recently manufactured the last seven forty seven. Um, at least that's going to be new. Right? Yeah. Meanwhile, we're still waiting on this uh, Boeing seven nine seven. I I haven't heard of that. Is it any eight eleven minutes? No one knows what it looks like. I don't even know if it still exists. Uh, that sounds like a on Urban Legends. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to cut the video here and we'll see you back on the descent. Four, three, three. Hey guys, welcome back. This time we're on the descent for the iOS 1.1 to wrap for our guns. Virgin traffic, 205, one mile fine on the ILS, one way one two, Virgin traffic. So I think it's like another rock helicopter, nine nine zero nine nine zero hotel, six miles south, east, two thousand three hundred, inbound for landing. Virgin possible. Alright, under the bins. Going in sight, blow one up two, flaps going full. Minimums, minimums. Landing. This airspeed bleed off here. We just made it down here in South Dakota, and like always, blue skies and tailwinds. And that's when the music plays. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Captain Jordan. 